Jacob Zuma and the NEC to step down. Mandashe again reiterated the need for proper procedures to be followed in order to maintain the integrity of the party. When people call on Gwede Mandashe to take a particular decision, that appeal becomes an appeal to an individual person. That Comrade Gwede do the right thing, step down. Now, it's a distinct, there's a distinction between asking a person to step down and asking an organization to recall a person who actually holds a position. And we understand the distinction. That's why we went out of our way to say, anybody want to ask for recall of the president must appreciate that it can be done only in a particular way. Um, in the pros of this, we don't have something called vote of no confidence. It's a parliamentary term. Number two, in the Constitution of the NC, you don't have a provision for recall of a person elected. You have a, a provision for recall of a deployee. Three, the only problem that is in the Constitution of the ANC, which people who have a right to exercise can exercise, is the right to convene a special conference. Let me tell you why that provision is for a special conference is because no structure which is below a conference with authority and stature can undo the work of a conference. So a special conference can recall the entire NEC because it is a conference that elected a, an NEC. A special conference can recall anybody but this expedition of the NEC of the NEC recalling its, uh, its itself and members of itself is actually misplaced in terms of how it should be working. Because if we can open that avenue, or I can tell you, we can open a floodgate of recall so and so, recall so and so, fire so and so, fire so and so. Uh, you will have noticed that over the last week when Jackson came up very strong on the issue of Pavin, there are many noises that say it's fire Jackson from the NEC. But the reality of the matter is that we can't fire Jackson from the NEC. Do you get my point? Uh, because he's elected by conference. Therefore, the conference have the authority to do anything. That's why there is Rule 29 in the Constitution of the NC that allows five provinces to call for a special conference. And no province has asked for a special conference, not one, let alone five. Okay. It also say otherwise it can be the NEC itself that calls for that. And it, until the NEC takes that decision, you, you don't do it. So those are the two stars that they have the authority to call a special conference in the NC. Anybody else, I hear sometimes people saying branches can and, and, and so forth. I say, no, maybe we read the constitution upside down. Five provinces can call for a special conference <laughs> and say we want to discuss this item. And that's where we can only focus this discussion on that particular item. And it, it is giving us a minimum of a month to actually work on the preparation of that conference. Minimum, you can't call it within a month, you give yourself a month or more to call a special conference. So there is laziness in actually following process of an organization because when an organization is going through a difficult period, it doesn't cease to be an organization. Therefore, it becomes a free for all. Once you do that, you will deepen the crisis.